So today I want to talk about what is Cadence, ORCAD, Allegro, P-SPICE. Um, if you're working with this software, your first question might be, what is it? What can it do if you've never been exposed to a software like Cadence before? Um, after downloading the software, this is at least what I had in my computer, about 50 uh, 50 something applications here that pop up and it can seem very overpowering but it's good to note that a lot of these are uh, repeats if you click into one of them they go and end up going into the same exact environment pretty much so the best way to answer the question of what is this suite of software what can it do um, is to say is to ask what can it do for us and you can create schematics like this one here, or you can take that same schematic or schematic like this and create a simulation. I have a simulation pulled up here. This one's in the frequency domain. Uh, you can do very in-depth simulations um, to ensure all your stuff is working. And additionally, come over here to our PCB editor. You can create PCB layouts for something that will physically be printed out or milled out. And here's a 3D representation of that same PCB right here. Essentially, you can go from your schematic, your ideas, to the physical world and all the way through from start to finish. Um, any company that you see that creates from the biggest, largest circuit boards down to the stuff in your cell phone can all be done on this software. Now. Depending on who you talk to, Cadence is the number one or number two software out there for PCB uh, design, designing circuit simulation. The other software I've heard a lot is Altium, and both these are used in industry where uh, I guess you're probably where your main job is creating these hardware designs, hardware layouts. Um, both of them have their pluses and minuses, so depending on your application, and your experience you might prefer one over the other but starting out uh, with limited knowledge there's not going to be like unlikely to be anything that's going to hold you up on one or the other they should be more than enough for a long time to come I mentioned the main software without mentioning the free software that's out there there is a free software out there one of the most popular ones is Eagle Obviously, it does a lot less. It's a lot easier to learn, and you could find yourself using this in professional industry, depending on how large the business is, how complex your designs are, and it's extremely expensive to go buy something like Altium or Cadence. So your company specifically may not have it, and you might be um, looking out and to find something that's free, and it's much easier to use. A word of advice, the learning curve on a software like Cadence is very steep. All of your work is up front, so if you uh, find yourself getting frustrated to start with, that's just how things go. Work in teams of people so your simple questions can be answered quickly and you can move on. It's going to seem like it takes hours to do the simplest thing, create a simple software or create a simple circuit to be simulated or anything at first. But uh, you'll find after you get the basics down, it's the same thing over and over, and you just have a few questions that pop up after that. So it does take a lot of extra time up front if you are learning this for the first time. So just be willing to put in a lot of extra time, and it is a great software. It just normally has one way to do things, and that's the right way, and you just kind of have to work around that.